In this video, we're going to be talking about the different types of call to actions and how to attach them to your videos. Starting in the Dub dashboard under Assets and Calls to Action, here's where you will see your Dub Call to Action library. In order to create a call to action, you will complete these fields and then click Submit. Starting with the name, the name of the call to action is for internal reference only. The recipients of your videos will not see the name of the call to action. Only yourself and team members will see the name. Start by entering the name. We recommend using who it's for and what the button does, such as Darius Calendar. The owner of the call to action will determine who sees this call to action in their library. By default, the owner will be the person creating the call to action. Under type, there are several different types of calls to action, and we're going to break down each of them. The first type here is calendar. The calendar CTA allows you to directly embed your calendar below your dub video pages to create seamless bookings. Whatever your calendar type, there may be already a pre-selected option here for your calendar, such as Acuity or Calendly. You'll notice that the first half of the URL is already there for the pre-selected options. So all you have to do is paste your second half of your Calendly link into the username. If you have different calendar types, such as 30 minutes, 15 minute appointments, you would use those meeting links to make a more specific calendar type. If you have some type that is not here, you would simply select other and use your calendar booking link there and it will embed it the same way below your video pages. That is the calendar type call to action. Chat is where you can create conversations with your recipients through the messaging application of your choice. The way this works is when they click this call to action button, it will open these messenger applications on their device, such as WhatsApp, Skype, or Messenger, with your username there in the recipient field. This one click opens up a conversation with your username designated there based on the platform you've selected. Document is a PDF or Word doc or other document type you want to upload. The only thing to be specific here is with the document title. We say here it can contain only letters, numbers, and dashes, no spaces or other characters. So when you're typing in a an example here, you will need to make sure that there are no spaces, only letters, numbers, and dashes. So if it had the space in there, this would not work. This will work. That will work. If I put a space, it will not work. There is a document type, PDFs or other documents. When they click the call to action button, it will automatically download that document to their computer. Email is just a button that will open up their default email application with your email in the recipient field. Just be aware, not everyone has a default email application hooked up on their desktop. So when they click your email button, it may try to open up their application to connect a default email. I usually recommend leaving the email in the video signature line instead of creating a button for it. Form is where you can create a form on Dub that will allow users to submit their first name, last name, their information, any information you wanna collect. There's a separate training for how to create forms on Dub. Once the form is created, you would connect the form to your video as a call to action button. That is the form type CTA. You can also use external forms. So forms created in external platforms, any other platform, as long as it has a URL, you can embed that form directly on your dub video page the same way you could a dub form or the same way this calendar is embedded here. Payments, right now we only accept PayPal, so you can accept PayPal payments directly on your video pages. Uh, Stripe will be coming here shortly. The payment CTA allows you to collect payment through a call to action. You would connect your PayPal account in your settings. The phone number type CTA allows recipients to place a phone call or a text message directly from their device. Now, when the recipient receives this video and clicks that button on their mobile device, it will open up their default text message application or their default dialing application, depending on the type you've selected. If it's phone call, it'll open up their dial pad with your phone number that you've listed here, and all they have to do is click the dial button. SMS, the same thing. They'll click the SMS button. It'll open up their default text message application, 
with your phone number in the recipients field, and all they have to do is type the text response and send. Be aware that phone call and SMS CTAs will not show on desktop. The functionality will not work. Most people can't place calls or SMS from their desktop, so those buttons will automatically be hidden on desktop. Those buttons will automatically be visible on mobile for phone call and SMS type CTAs. Products is where you can place a URL to a given product, and if it has an image associated with that product, it will display above the call to action button with the product image there. Website link is any external URL. Anytime you'd like to redirect to another link, including video pages or websites or any other URL, you would use website link and place the URL there. And when they click the button, it will either take them to a new tab or have them refresh in the same window, taking over the video page with the website link there that you've designated. Video reply is the option to give someone the ability to reply with the video. They don't have to download or sign up or install anything. They just click one button and it will allow them to send you a video in response. Embed web page is an option that allows you to completely embed an external page below your dub video. The same way this calendar is embedded below the dub video, you can embed an entire web page. So if you have a website or landing page, you may be able to embed it directly below your videos as well. And the last one is webinar option, where with Big Marker, Easy Webinar, and Zoom, you can directly embed your webinar registration forms below your dub videos so people can register right from your video pages for your webinars. Those are the different types of calls to action. Now, there's a few more fields here that we'll need to discuss. Once you have provided the type of call to action, and provided the value, whether it's the link or the phone number, depending on the type. The next option here is gonna be the button text. So this is the text that actually shows on the button itself. You can control the text by choosing one of the pre-populated options, or you can have completely custom text. Just be aware there is a certain character limit, so the buttons can't be very long. 30 something characters is the character limit there. In order to control the color of the button and the text color, this would be done on the video edit page or as part of your preset. There is a separate video training for presets where you can learn to control the colors here. Finally is a description. The description of the call to action will show next to the call to action itself, but only if there is a single call to action. If there is more than one call to action, like in this case, there's three, the descriptions will not show. Finally, you have your sharing options. You have the option to either share this call to action with just me, meaning just the owner of this call to action. If that is the case, only the owner of this call to action will see it. You also have the ability to share it with your entire team, so everyone on the team will see this call to action in their library, or you can share it with a specific group that you've created. There is a separate training for how to create groups within your dub organization. Those are all the different types of calls to action. We've also mentioned some specific rules about phone calls and SMS CTAs not showing on desktops. You're also limited to certain number of embedded features as well. So if you have a calendar embedded, you will not also be able to embed a form or an external web page. You can only have one embedded asset like this at one time. So if you needed something to link to another calendar and you wanted one here, one would be a website link CTA and the other would be a calendar CTA. So you can only have one embedded asset at a time. Those are some of the limitations to calls to action.